Hey sisters, welcome out to SOS Sold Out Single. We have something great, I believe, in store for you. Uh, our first guest, Miss Little Miss Akoma Makubella. She's our first guest, and we caught up with her a few days ago and just had a, a candid conversation. I can't wait till you guys hear this, and uh, I'll come back after it's over. So let's go straight to the tape. Sold out single SOS. Welcome to our next session. This session, I'm so excited because it is called Little Sold Out Sister. This is the first ever that we're doing this, but I've been waiting for this all year. Uh, Pastor Jill gave us the idea. She said, hey, what about introducing uh, a little sold out sister? And I started thinking like, wow, okay, well, let, let me think about who would be that guest. And of course, it was my first guest, my goddaughter, Zuri, who you guys will hear about in a little bit. But then I interviewed, for those of you who know, I interviewed Ayana Gregory. And in that interview, we started talking about a little bit about her niece. And when she shared with me what her niece, what had got her attention when they were in D.C. or wherever they were, and they actually ran into a homeless person, I thought, that is my next guest for Little Sold Out Sister. She's already practicing her authentic voice, her best self, and what better way to introduce Little Sold Out Sisters than this session. So, Little Sold Out Sister, Miss Akoma Wakanda. Akoma, say your last name for me. Makubella. I mean, she says it so beautifully, Makubella. How do you tell me your dad says it? Makubella. Mock Bella. Mock oh, Bella. I'm probably messing it all up. So I'm going to stick with a coma, okay? All right. I like that. A coma, how old are you? Six and a half years old. Oh, when will you be seven? And November 6th. Wow. So what's, what grade are you in? Second. You're in the second grade? That's, so what are you working on in the second grade? What do second graders do? Well, actually, my teacher um, gave us a third level, uh, third level book. So third level book means you read above the second grade? You're on the third grade level? You know that's pretty like rare, right? That's like unique. So you, you're smart, can I say that? Okay, so let me tell you, I'm so excited because I heard about you when I first interviewed your auntie Ayana. And she talked about you and she said some interesting things. And I thought, I want to get her on the SOS platform and I want to have a conversation with you. So, welcome to SOS platform and thank you for being our first guest mm -hmm. of being Little Sold Out Sister. Yep. You can you're say welcome. it. Thank you. So I have some questions for you. You mind if I ask you a couple of questions? Okay, great. What are some of the fun things you like to do? Um, play tag, um, hide and seek, and dance and sing. You, oh, so I heard about your dancing and singing. And you just recently did a performance, right? What What was that performance about? Uh, it was... Uh, well, I can't really explain it. But it was it's, a, it's an African dance, but I forgot what the name was. That's okay, because I got a surprise. Someone sent me a video of it. Fabulous. Like, I love going to shows like that. And you did a great job. So congratulations. Thank you. Okay, so I have another question for you. I heard you were a vegan. I can't imagine, because I grew up on all kinds of foods being a little girl. So you made a decision to be vegan. So what does that mean for you? I eat um, soup rice. Well, 
I'm kind of a vegan because <laughs> I eat salmon and snapper. I'm so loving you. You know that? But I'm allergic to some seafood. You are? Oh, okay. Well, I had salmon today with my lunch. I love salmon. My sister loves salmon. Oh, my God. I could eat it every day. Yeah, she like, she's like, Mommy, can I have some salmon on bread? I'm like, you're going to run out. <laughs> I have a question. So you have how many sisters and brothers? I have two sisters and two brothers. And what are their names? The littlest is named Tumelo. The biggest sister is named Zolani. The bi the biggest brother's name is Sile, and the second biggest brother is named Bodhi. Oh wow, that's so fabulous! I had five sisters and brothers too, and I like a big family because you have a lot of fun when you have a lot of siblings. You know, you're never like bored. Do you ever get bored? Mm, you you do so much stuff. I can't. Yeah, you, I can't imagine you being bored. Do you know why I invited you to SOS? No. So let me tell you, because when you and my, uh, your, your auntie and when we were talking, um, and she shared a story a little bit, that when you were with your family, you saw a homeless person. Can you tell me what you felt and what you experienced when you met that me homeless person? Me and my dad were at the store, and then we saw a, a homeless person on the street. He was trying to look for money, and I was like, Daddy, can we give him some money? And then he said, uh, not today. And then I was thinking in the car, why do we have to use money? Like, mm, it just looks like printed paper. <laughs> right. It's just printed paper. And what else did you think about it? So, so I was like, well, why do we even use it? And why do people even want it? Mm -hmm. So why don't we just tell the community just like if someone needs something they could give it to someone and everyone could share I'm in love with her y'all just once I'm just saying uh, for all you SOS grown women this is how it starts this is what it looks like when parents invest in these great minds and she's only six. You, you, you know, you know, you're not supposed to know all this stuff, right? I don't know if you know that, but you're only six, and you have the heart of God already. You know what that is? That means He loves everyone, and He wants everyone to be well, and He wants everyone to be able to eat. And you saw that already at six. Like I'm, I'm so proud of you, and I thank you for caring. You know, with someone like the way you think, if we care about our homeless community, if we care about our children, you know, there's children that's hungry too. If we care about the way you show that and the way you express that, I think the world would be a better place too. I'm so happy that you are who you are. I want to thank you for being who you are. I have another question. Don't think it ain't over. Just give me one more time, okay? I just want to ask one more question. I want you to tell me about this Acoma big idea thing. It started when I got home. I told my auntie that we should have a meeting. You know what a meeting is? I'm done. Keep going, baby girl. So, we were, we were going to plan a meeting. And then I was telling my auntie about this stuff I was talking about with my dad. And then she thought that was a great plan, and I got, and I, and my other auntie was in the meeting. It was just the three of us. Okay. And I told them about my big idea, and then, and then my mom told me that Auntie Anna said, someone's going to be interviewing me. And then I was so excited. And my sisters even made a sign on paper, uh, like, like in the background, there's like a paper in my, my big sister draw a coma's big idea, helping the community of Mother Earth. Oh my gosh. Do you mind if I help too? I want to do something with you. I think it's going to be such a great movement that you're going to start. 
I love your meet idea, your big idea, and you having this meeting. So you call the meeting. So when the next time you call a meeting, can you can you ask your auntie to call me so I can attend? Because <laughs> I'm I'm over it. I'm done. <laughs> um, you, I want you to interview me. This is over. This is not a little sold out sis anymore. I want you to just do sold out single. Because you, some you are something great. Do you know that? Do you know you are amazing? You do. Well, let me double that up because you are triple amazing. And I'm so happy to have this opportunity and I'm happy to have met you. I'm so happy your auntie told me about you. I look for little girls like you. I think you are the next, uh, who do you know that's in like the civil rights movement that came along like Miss Rosa Parks, you know that name? You do? Tell me about, what do you know about Miss Rosa Parks? When she, she, she didn't let anyone tell her what to do, and she kept her seat on the bus. You're only six. I I don't know. You you got you been here before? Do you know what that means when people say that? <laughs> that means you have this beautiful spirit that automatically knows something already, and at six you shouldn't know it yet, but you do. That's the spirit that lives inside of you. You have the same beautiful spirit your Auntie Ayana had. You know, you have love. You know what love is? You love your family? What is love? Love is like feeling and you bring... Let's look this way. Love is like what? Love is like a feeling. And then your feeling spreads happiness around so everyone can Feel love and give love, and you can give love to others too. I'm, I'm speechless. <laughs> this beautiful spirit is sitting here that's only six years old, only six years on the whole earth, and all of this beauty, humanity, and love is flowing out of her. SOS, we salute you, little sold out sister. Miss Akoma. Wakanda Makubeli, Makubella. Thank you. Yeah. I want to do something. I have something for you. Do you mind if I give you something? Okay. This Miss Kita. Say hi, Miss Kita. She hi. followed the sold out. We want to give you a gift. The first thing we want to do is say thank you. And look at this. And I would. <laughs> We're gonna put this here, but first I wanna put this on your arm. Do you mind if I give you this? Come over here, you can do this. Will this be okay in the shot? That is from SOS, sold out single. Thank you. We always like to give gifts out to our guests, right? Mm -hmm. And then I wanna share something else with you. Did you hear about this little girl? Her name is Amanda Gorman. She actually read a poem at President Obama's inauguration. And this is the poem that she read. We want to present you with this book. And this is from S myself and SOS. So when you get a moment, you can ask Auntie Ayana to read that to you. You probably already know how to read. You're six years old. You're on a third grade level, right? You can read that. And guess what else? We got this for you. <laughs> Look at, and you can draw, you can do fun things with this and have a day at and just let your creativity flow however you want to. You have markers to go with this and pencil so you could do your thing. You like this? And we ain't finished yet. We ain't finished yet, pumpkin. We got something else for you, but I want you to open this. I want you to take that, and I don't know too many vegan places, so I just gave you a gift so you can go find a vegan place and order you lunch, okay? Um, you know, I go to Chick-fil-A, so, I mean. I go to You do? I get, I only get fries and, and lemonade. The lemonade is the best, I tell you. 
I get the lemonade and I get a salad, but I get chicken on it. So I'm not. I only get fries and lemonade because I'm allergic to some stuff there. There, okay, that makes sense. But that's one of my favorites. So let me read that to you. You want me to read that to you? This is this is for you. And it simply says, thank you for joining SOS. We appreciate you. With a little teddy bear on there for you, pumpkin. Okay, sisters, this was such a joy for me to uh, introduce Miss Acoma, little Miss Acoma, for a little sold out sister. We thank you for joining us today. We appreciate you. Hey, go back and look at this again. Remember the little girl inside of you. We all have that superhero inside of us. Let us go out there add value to the world. Let us do our part that God has given us to do. Whatever your purpose is, do that. Mine is uh, running my mouth, but in a godly way. And hopefully I'm adding value to who you are, to your life. And hopefully God is using me to do that because we all start with changing from the inside out. That is the Soul Factory's mission. That is what we do. That is what we practice. We are imperfectly perfect. This young lady showed me today that who you are inside starts with you as a baby. You have everything inside of you to be who you are. This is not by happenstance. This right here is purpose. This right here is parents directing you, leading you, guiding you in the way you should go. That's it for our show today, Little Miss Acoma. So we appreciate you tuning in today and hope you can uh, stay tuned for our next session, which is going to, we're going to do something a little different. We're going to introduce a new platform. It's going to launch from right here, SOS, but this show is called His World, Her World, and the name of that session is called It's Another World. Can't wait to see you all again soon. Take care and continue to keep up the God work and the good work.